Yeah. Hi and welcome to Paranormal oh, Hauntings. We're a bit earlier actually. Oops, sorry. I thought we'd get uh, get cracking. Crack a lacking. We have one. Hello one. Hello the one. <laughs> Who's the one? Who are you? Who's the one? <laughs> Come and say hello. Hi Vicky, it's Vicky, she's the one. <laughs> Number one. Hi Edward. Oh. Hi Ryan, I can see the little Ryan <laughs> just singing out, hello I'm here. Hi Ryan. Hi Kate. Hi Mandy. Hi Troy. Sorry everybody, because I'm like blinding everybody <laughs> a bit like. Hi Sue. Hi Maria. Hi Elaine. Oh, Monterey, Mexico. Wow. Hi Martin. Hi Rachel. There's some new names on there tonight. There is, there is. It's Who nice are the new Kate back on. If you're newbies, let us know. Hi Rhonda. Hi William. Thank you very much Kate. If everyone can give it a thumbs up, give it a share, we would extremely appreciate it. So we are in a piece of woods called Thieves Woods. <laughs> um, I've been here myself before, never live though, never live. You guys know where we are because I've kind of gave you a hint in the title, but Amy doesn't. No. Amy doesn't have a clue where we are other than it's called Thieves Wood. So she don't know what's here. She don't know what the what's alleged to be here. She knows nothing. Um, but it does link to something that I've been working on for a, a while. So we thought we'd try the spirit box experiment again. Um, just to see what Amy gets through um, and then I'm going to take you to an area after we've done that to show you a certain point to do with what I've named it what was that there's just that one tree moving and it's like something's just climbed up that tree I'm not kidding <laughs> Karen's a newbie. Could you could you could hear the scratching? I heard you? it. I heard it. Not it, a squirrel. It, well, I don't think a squirrel could move an entire bloody tree, <laughs> <laughs> unless it's on steroids. Hi, Irene. Hi, Dave. So let me just show you where we are because you might pick up other things within this area because it has got a vast history. Hi, Leslie. Hi Pat. Hi Bev. Yes. It's in Nottingham. We are in Nottingham. <clears throat> so there is a Pacific area I want to... Oh, oh wow. we've got dark. Here we go. I have got backup torches tonight, guys. But... Oh, good. Backup phones. Yeah. Yeah. Which way we're going, don't we? Yeah, so. Did your senses guide you? I know where my senses take me. I'm just scanning the area just to see if we feel anything down here. This, These woods are absolutely huge. Um, and very, very ancient. But I think, should we put the spirit box on from this point and walk back up and just see what we get? Yeah. I have got the obelisk. What would you say, the obelisk? It's not an obelisk. It's not an obelisk. <laughs> so I'll put that on. It's a parrot egg. <laughs> it's a shoal sense of swamp. <laughs> 
No swamps, not tonight. So <laughs> once she's got these headphones on, I'll give you a bit more detail. Oh, am I putting the headphones on now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get them on. <laughs> You'll have to tell me where I'm walking though. I want you to be guided really. I think when we did this the other day, did you guys notice Amy was kind of guided? Um, Amy, what? if you want to go across the road at any point as well, will you say? Yeah. If there's any reason you that you feel, anything you feel, yeah? All right. You, where you want to go, even if it's across the road, anywhere, yeah? Okay. Just, just say, yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. So in what general direction would you like me to walk? I don't want to tell you. I want you oh. to just see where you go with what responses come out. So Amy's not going to be able to hear the questions. That's why I'm putting my hat on. Because it fills my head out a bit. Because I've only got a tiny head. That we ask. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so if you guys in the chat have got any questions you want me to ask why we're doing this, please fire ahead if you're picking up anything. I just think this, this experiment kind of validates the spirit box a bit more than just using it randomly. This is found. Okay. So we've got a piece of a little piece of equipment that I will set down. Um just as we go. It's not on yet, so don't say it. Okay. <laughs> So you just want to press the down button. Hang on. <clears throat> I can hear you still. Oh, out, just... Yeah, it was very interesting. Let me just time. test. Just do a test. Can you talk. hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Put it on them. Um... You know what you are. Oh. But you can't now. Nah. <laughs> right, try that. Right, yeah, it's up. a different hat. It's definitely it's a different hat. <laughs> what? No, I can hear you. Where can I hear you? Can use the other spirit box if it's too quiet. Normally it's a roll ad. There's a male's voice just there. Right, let me just... Right, cool. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Why has it gone like that today? I don't know, it was far louder yeah, uh, the just other day. Just hold that ammo. Let me just it's, make sure the connections, right. the connections. It's the connections, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. At least we know we, we're doing it as we should. <laughs> Hello? Hey. That's where I'm in. So, I'm going to be asking for... Leave. I am going to be asking for a... Um, the spirit of Elizabeth Shepherd to come forward because she was murdered just up there and there is a memorial stone we tried to connect with her before we didn't get very much um, but Amy doesn't know this Amy didn't come with us then so, so we got teen and we got found so her body was found in this area in the 1800s she was sadly murdered there is a question mark who her murderer were Poor. Poor. so I'm calling out to Elizabeth Elizabeth Shepherd people who I'm very connected to you, Elizabeth. Your tale has made me cry. It's 
made me cry, made my family cry reading your tale. So we mean no disrespect tonight. We just want a few answers. And I know you've been seen here so many times. Can you come forward and say your name, Elizabeth, if you're here? There is a voice that just said forward. Can you tell me what this land used to be here? Thank you everyone. Come into our energies. You can use this box with the name is hand to communicate with me. See Amy is a middle person. She's your advocate. Just heard a man's voice. Just heard a man's voice. Hiya, Caroline. Devil. Devil. Call me out. <laughs> Call me out. So there is supposed to be a high woman, high woman here. There is supposed to be something darker here. So this is all that is relevant, to be fair. So who are we speaking to now? Can we have a name for you, please? If it's not Elizabeth. Tell me who you are. That was a moth that's just got in front of the camera. It says name. Yes, can I have a voice that said Hamish? Okay. And it sounds there's a like it sounds almost like a Gaelic language. Or or Welsh, you know, like proper Welsh. So that was a relevant reply. Hamish is the name. Hamish, can you tell me how old you are? It's just said bitch. Nice. <laughs> There's a step there behind me. moving. Who are you calling a bitch? <laughs> Do we need to behave? Is that what you're saying? Can you tell me what you did on this land? It said, one voice said faith, then another went, no, not faith, and then it said Amy. It said an Amy. It's Amy Scottish. Is it? Because that would link with what she said There's that a she's woman in. And she sounds like she's underwater. Is that you, Elizabeth? OK, 
can you please say your name if you are here if that is you in the background i shit you not it's just said you're on the wrong side <laughs> Okay. Are you saying I'm on the wrong side of the road for Elizabeth? Because she's been sighted across the road. But everyone There's always... about six different voices all say go on. So I don't know whether it means go on or go to the other side. Because it said you're on the wrong side. Okay. Well, that way then. That wrong way. Wrong side. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that way. <laughs> that way. Please. Yeah. So, we'll go that way. It said you're on the wrong side. Yeah. <coughs> Good. That's that better, isn't it? So, what happened is everyone thinks she was murdered on this side. Her memorial stone is on this side. But the man who looks after her memorial I stone. I don't know, Charlene, if a woman was found here. Go on, go on, go on, go on, there's a woman on. on here and I can't quite make out what she's saying yet. So anyway, Isa Isina mm. going across the road because he messaged me and asked me to come and investigate this before and he's seen her on the opposite side of the road. And then he'd looked at old maps of how the road used to be. And she'd have actually been murdered. Down there. Yeah, on the opposite side of the road. So I'm just hoping she goes to the stone because she's not seen the stone. Come on, say your name, Elizabeth. Or Betsy. Betsy. I'm excited. <laughs> it does sound, it, it sounds like there's an argument. Okay. So it is thought that she could have been pregnant. And there is a really nasty sounding voice, a, a nasty sounding man in here. Are you from the quarry, sir? Are you from the quarry that was on this land? Did you wrongly set up Charles Rotherham? Slices. Piss off. <laughs> you did, didn't you? You wrongly set him up, didn't you? Woman. Did you kill her? Which way to the other side? That way or that way? Straight up. That's where the... <laughs> trying to point. Oh, no. That way. That yeah, way and then yeah. that. Yeah, that way. That way. That way. <laughs> I'm trying to... She can't, I'm forgetting she can't hear me. Keep getting sun you I don't know if I can trust what they're saying, but it's oh, very, very said relevant. I want them out. Do you know that I know the truth? What did you used to do on this land? What was your work? Help me. Bessie. Go. Elizabeth, if you're there, can you tell me who killed you? Who was the man that killed you? Did you know him? Did you know who we were? Yeah.
I think she was his mistress, yes. Um, Charles Rotherham got blamed for it, but... It said the dark. Um, Charles Rotherham actually, uh, he wouldn't have known her. He was just passing at the time, but he was in the military and he'd got kicked out of the military um, because he had a bit of a bad name. He was take, blamed. Take he was actually hung, drawn and quick quartered and it's still thought today that he was the killer, but there's people that's looked into it and they don't think he was. They think that it was the, uh, she was actually seeing the man from the quarry who owned the quarry, but he had a wife and child. And they reckon that he bumped her off and I'll show you the stone when we've done. He put the stone down where she had a hole in. supposed to have died. Getting Robert. Are we going in the correct way, Elizabeth? Is it this side? I'm getting cold. Where are you now? Where are you now? So she's been sighted there, guys. And that's that stretch. Go, go, go. It's all right to go. We can. She's not going to be able to see. Let her just go where she, where she feels. This is the area me and Chrissy came to. Really... Yes, this is the exact spot. <laughs> Nasty sounding. Where do we go in? Straight down. My echoes have just gone up. Is this the area, Elizabeth? Are you sure we go over this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm nodding. <laughs> yeah. Um, one minute. If you go... Follow me. Go on, I'll follow you. <laughs> I didn't want to go over that, and I'll tell you why. Because I felt like I was going to walk over a dead body. Hang on, it's not working at the minute. I actually felt like I was going to walk over a dead body. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to go over. David, it said. Elizabeth, can you give me your second name? Can you say... I don't like it over here. I don't like it over this side. It feels completely different to that side. So this is the actual spot that she was found. It said she's uh, something. It was either... Sh it, it sounded... It said stay back. There was like a growly voice that just read stay back. No, I'm not staying back. I want to get to the truth. Because I think... You killed her. It said following you. Good. You can follow all night.
Elizabeth, are you here? I really want her to see Elizabeth. There you are. Can you see me? Left. To the left. I'm going to go left then. Can you tell me what kind of dress she was found in? Well, you wasn't found, was you in it? You was found naked, wasn't you? But can you tell me what kind of dress you had on before you died? Is this where it were? This is the exact same spot that Chrissy took me to when we first come and she she'll back me up on this. It was the exact same spot. This side makes me feel so sick. Torch. No torch. It's all right, I've got another one. The car's only at the side of the road. I feel he hit her on the head, he did. He did exactly that. I don't that. know if that was Amy or Emma. Come on, really in tune with Amy. Please give your name, Elizabeth. Let me know that it's you. I'm fully convinced it is. It's where you died. Thank you, Craig. There was just, there was shouting then on that. Do you even know who Charles Rotherham was? Do you even know who he was? Yeah. You do? Was it him that killed you? I don't know if you heard that, she said yes then. Was it him that killed you? Please say. There's so many people that love you, Elizabeth. They've never met you, but even to this day. I think if it's just said the, the word rape three times. Yeah, they think she got raped. They didn't have forensics then, but they, they think that she oh. was raped. She was found naked with a dress next to her and her umbrella. building I don't know if there's a building if there was a building here or if, if there's one nearby the quarry I just want to get out of this bit it's making yeah. me feel really sick yeah yeah <clears throat> I think she does know a killer so Elizabeth was it Charles that murdered you or don't you know? Because he did come behind you with a picket. So you might not have known who it was. They do think it could have been like a bit of a team effort. It said I'm, I'm feeling someone. It was a woman. It said I'm feeling someone. 
Elizabeth, before you died, you was on this stretch of road walking back from Mansfield. You got a job, didn't you? Can you tell me what job you got before you died? What job was that? Rob and David. Did you know that a gentleman comes every single week to lay flowers on your stone? And yet he'd never met you. <laughs> Completely different eras. And yet he comes every week to lay flowers. I'm not sure because it was so quiet, but it sounded like a roof. Like she said, roof. Possibly Mandy, her uh, Wendy. Please help. They didn't do forensics back then, did they? Please help. In what way do you need help? <clears throat> I know he comes every week and yet it's we're talking this was in 1827 and he comes every week to this day it said amy's gone jack mm. i love you i love you <laughs> do you like amy do you like us You do know that we're not after any game from doing this tonight. This is just out of love and to get your story across. Ooh. It went. It went. Go now. Like, really, really gruff, low voice. Play. So I'll keep coming back to get answers until I can get an answer. Busy bee. He's, he's a killer. Ooh, he's a killer. Ooh is. Slap him. What's his name? I think we did do a pendulum when we last came, actually. It said bend over. <laughs> yeah, you can do one. <laughs> you don't intimidate me, whoever you are. There's been some nasty sessions with this, isn't there? <laughs> They don't like me doing this. Horrible. Hi, Cardi. Heard a man's voice say yes. Are we here now? So was your body found here, but did it happen here? Amy. I said her name three times. I don't think so, son. It. <laughs> yeah, the soldier was definitely set up. I think. I personally it. think. Yeah, that was it. That's it. So, who are you? It said follow, but before that, it said witch. It's called me a witch. Yeah, well, I'll follow. You can call me a witch. I'm not bothered about that.
Where are you leading us to? Because I've just seen a danger sign. One minute. Is he leading us to dangerous ground? Are you leading us to dangerous ground? Puddle. Puddle. <laughs> the puddle. It's just said puddle twice. One minute. Amy. Amy. Walk back up this way. Why? There's a reason why. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't like it in here. Yeah, no. Head back towards the road. Head back towards the road, yeah? Yeah, okay. Mm. I'll show you. Just said fire. Thinking what's down there. This uh, old swampy area. But I'm going to show you. There's a sign. There's a sign on this phone. It says danger. I'm wondering if he's leading us into danger. Here, I'll show you in a minute. It's weird that I um, spotted that, so I'm taking it as a sign. Dancing from one ear to the next. <sighs> oh, it went get out. Really angry. <laughs> no, I am not getting out. And then it said, We're here. I think you're a murderer, aren't you? But it was like almost like overlaid so there were two voices both saying the same thing at the same time saying we're here you're a murderer aren't you and you're scared your secret's gonna come out aren't you woman again you killed i'm gonna say you killed that young woman didn't you Yeah. Was there more than one of you? Fuck you. And fuck you too. <laughs> I'm going to end up in attachment I again here. <laughs> I'm not normally rude to spirit, so. But I do believe we could that like, it could be him. Have you got Elizabeth there with you now? Are you dead? No, I'm alive. Do you want to bump me off? Because you know I'm speaking the truth and it's getting to you. Venery, it isn't supposed to be like this. It's supposed it's supposed to be quite um random. <laughs> it's twice we've done it now. And it's been quite relevant. You've I do been like here before. I have been here before. 
Yes. Can you tell me who I came with? Do you know? Give me one of the names. It said Trent. Daniel, I think. Daniel. Oh, there's one little hello. Is that you, Elizabeth? Really, like a, a little female voice. She must only be young. She, her voice sounded as if she was in her teens. She's only 17 when she died. Is that you? Yep. Can we go to your stone, Elizabeth? So don't scream. We won't scream. Don't scream. The hell is that, guys? Run. What's that? Bastard. Is that a symbol? Does anybody know what that symbol is? <laughs> it's just called me a bastard. I think that was run bastard. Sorry for swearing. <clears throat> Can you at least say your second name? I'd really appreciate it. Just finish it off for me. That I'd know I'd been talking to you if you can say Elizabeth or Shepherd or Betsy. Hurry up. We all. Yes, I'm Shardine. And I do have a camera in front of me, but we are here all here. Collectively, wanting to know your story. We all care for you. It's across the path of the Indian peace sign, Sean. Okay. Hi, Sean. Elizabeth, have you passed over? Have you passed over? I think the gentleman that come to it the... said got hurt and then there was another voice that said Amen. There's a... Are you stopping her from, from going over? You're really sick, aren't you? Who are you? Hello? It said backwards. I really don't like it. It's to keep the devil out. That's very uh, convenient, isn't it? Turn around. Yeah, she does need to turn around for the memorial stone. I'm going to stop her there because I think she's right. So turn around? Yeah. That way? Yep. Can you lead Amy to your memorial stone, please? Elizabeth. 
Setting the leader. Yeah, we are. <laughs> It is about halfway, she just said about halfway. Enough. I'm just going to turn this off a sec. Yeah. It's just doing me, I don't expect I feel sick. Yeah. I feel really sick. Cause should I take you to something that might make sense? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. Let's just cross the road. Dust over to this side. There, were part, there was a really nasty one. Yeah, really I don't think he likes me. Something. One rape was it? Something like that. Just down here. It said rape. <laughs> Might make sense if you read it. Seventeen years old, didn't I say late teens? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. That upset you. Sorry. Uh... She's crying. Just give her a minute, guys. She's had to go to the car a minute. Definitely contacted her. I'll just come off this live for a minute, go and check if she's alright, give her five minutes and come back on. Are you alright with that? That's alright. You see, if I told her where we were going, if I'd have told her everything and, and gave her it all to read, it wouldn't have made... I needed to know to make contact with her because it's such a sensitive case. Give me five, five, five to ten minutes, let her have a fag. And um, we'll come back around. So it says, this stone is erected to the memory of Elizabeth Shepherd of Papplewick, who was murdered when passing this spot by Charles Rotherham, July 7th, 18, 17, aged 17 years. This was actually erected by the quarryman, who we don't think it possibly was the murderer, because who in the right mind had some memorial and a memorial a murderer's name. So we'll have a fag and we'll come back on. We'll have a fag and come back on, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so we'll see you in ten. All right. See you later.